It's a vlog. It's it's a vlog. <laughs> it's December 5th and I got a mocha. I know this has coffee, but it has a lot of chocolate and milk, so it hopefully will not get me very very jittery. But today I want to make some Christmas cookies. It's a recipe from my boyfriend's mom. They're really good. They have bourbon in them. And I also want to watch an online show that one of my best friends is in. So um, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and then we can make some cookies. So we're not gonna be able to see that show today. <laughs> I didn't realize this, but this theater, how they're running the show, it's pay what you can. And if you send in the donation after a certain time, they don't send you the link to watch it until the next day. So it's too late for that today. So we're going to have to see that show tomorrow. And I'm seeing this show because my best friend Jasmine Milan Williams is an actress and she wrote a beautiful scene of a grandma and a uh, granddaughter. FaceTiming on Christmas. It's so cute. And of course, I'll leave the, the link in the description for you guys to go check it out if you want. It's pay what you can. It is more than just that. It's a bunch of actors um, that created pieces, or I believe every actor created their own piece because I know my friend did. And um, let's talk about this more in the kitchen because I want to make those bourbon balls I was talking about earlier. So let's let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> So for the recipe, I know I need powdered sugar, vanilla wafers, bourbon, and walnuts. Are you talking to me? I'm talking to whoever wants to listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. We only have this much left. And a food processor and these cookies you don't actually have to bake them because you're just mixing this all you're just food processing all of this together and then rolling them up into cute little balls and that's it the thing that takes the longest is actually making these into little balls okay so i ground up the vanilla wafers and the walnuts it's three cups of vanilla wafers one cups of walnuts or pecans and I threw it in this big container because you're gonna have to mix it up and I looked at the recipe and you also need light corn syrup and cocoa powder and then half a cup of bourbon and one cup of powdered sugar in this and then what half a cup of powdered sugar to roll the balls and it doesn't really matter what order you put this in I don't think so I just dump it all at the same time actually you know what I like to do I like to do the powder first because the uh, in this tablespoon because then the powder on the tablespoon helps the corn syrup not stick to the to the tablespoon as much so that's why I like to do it one and it falls out so nicely so like I was saying I found out about this show because my best friend is in it and she had randomly told me oh I'm gonna do the show I wrote it I'm filming it myself and I'm uh, editing it myself do you want to read the script and I was like yeah and I read it and it's so so cute it's about this grandma reading a book for her granddaughter on FaceTime because it's um, they, they're not able to be with each other and it's really heartwarming and adorable and um, I just I we we like to give each other feedback in artistic projects like this because sometimes you just need somebody else to give you a fresh eye but uh, I just gave her the tiniest little notes for what would make more sense of what she was trying to say so this show is actually a set that they built in the theater they built a whole set looks very very Christmassy has fireplace and the couches and the tree I only saw a little sneak peek that she gave on um, on Instagram wow we almost didn't have enough bourbon so it's of course not just her there's some people that are singing and basically what what it is it's a bunch of actors that have been out of work this whole time that um, created their own work and then came to do it in the theater so I'm assuming this way they didn't have to pay any kind of rights to be able to do a show because usually when you do a play you have to play you have to pay um, in order to legally do that play I'm gonna get the link for that tomorrow and I'm really excited to watch it because I haven't seen any virtual shows any kind of virtual shows and I've seen there's been a bunch but for some reason I just haven't really took the time to but this is my best friend so I really want to watch this show she was in another one a little bit earlier this year that I didn't get a chance to watch and I was like I'm being a bad friend I need to watch this now this is all mixed up and now it's time to turn it into balls 
Mmm, it smells so good. And I'm gonna put a half a cup of powdered sugar in the counter here for rolling. So I'm gonna roll these into little balls. I was thinking about measuring them or weighing the balls so that I, I can get them the same size, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. And right before the pandemic hit, I was actually wanting to be in some kind of live performance because I miss theater. I haven't done it in a while. Um, and then the pandemic happened, so I can't do it. So I was thinking of maybe doing something for um, that's similar to this. Either I write it myself and then it gets showcased in some kind of theater or um, maybe being in a Zoom show like a lot of, a lot of places are doing Zoom shows. Something that I've noticed about virtual shows is that they want to hire local people to wherever that theater is based out of. I'm, sp I'm speaking specifically of theaters that are looking to do virtual shows. And I'm not sure if that's because um, they want to make sure that you're in their time zone or this, this other thought is probably the one that makes more sense, is that they want to make sure that they're hiring local talent. So they're actors that are out of work, they wanna hire them. Because right now, technically, they can get anybody from anywhere because it's all going to be online. They might be sending them costumes because I know some of these virtual shows, they are sending them costumes. Uh, I'm realizing my headshots that I wanted to do, I'm not gonna be able to do until next year because everything is closed. Mmm, these are really good. I'm realizing that these are the cookies that I was eating during my ASMR video, if you guys saw that. But they're so good. They are bitter. You can definitely taste the bourbon in there. Took me like maybe 20 minutes. Really good. Tastes amazing with coffee. Of course, I'm not having coffee right now, but tastes really good with coffee. If you are, and um, I recommend these. These are so good. I made them a little bit bigger than I usually do. I'm going to end the video here and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll watch the show and eat some cookies and see what else we can do. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you subscribe, like this video and leave me a comment.